Hey folks, this is James the Unfished American Cowboy Country. We are here at La Tech. It was kind of cool. I actually got to see these guys play at SMU earlier this year. Uh, this is Joe LA Stadium. Um, by the way, I just got done talking to a few folks. That's their track. They literally have no stands. Nothing. No stands. No bleachers. Nothing. Come on, La Tech. Be better. I mean, your stadium looks good. I mean, why couldn't you put at the end of the track uh, a facility for, like, locker locker rooms and at least, you know, bathrooms? Anyway, I promised the guy I just talked to that I would mention that. But this looks good. I love all the color. I love the banners. Uh-oh. Are they practicing? Hope not. Anyway, I mean, they got logos everywhere. I, I don't know why they painted that black. That should be like blue up there. You know, match the school colors. But like, like, look at this. Like, I love this huge banner with the bulldog. That looks good. All right, I'm going to turn this off. I hear whistles, so I don't... I don't want to record them practicing. That would be bad. Well, I'm going to try to sneak in here and look. They are practicing. I don't want to... I don't want to interrupt them. I don't want to... Do all like it. Session stands are really nice. What do they offer? Plain barbecue. Oh, wings. Oh, that's really nice. Plain barbecue or buffalo. Oh, good job. Hot dogs, nachos, popcorn. Okay. Oh, even Chick-fil-A. Better. Even better. Uh, and TV. Oh, I'd love to get a picture of the field, but if they're practicing, I don't want to. Anyway. Yeah, that track dude was ticked off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you de definitely want to. One of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Terry Bradshaw, went to school here. Yeah, I can see why they'd be proud of that. That's that's like how uh, Oklahoma State feels about Barry Sanders. I get it. Of course, Barry was a much better athlete. Not trying to get practice. I'm trying to get the stadium. I do like the. There's a good amount of chairbacks over there. That's good. See all the chairbacks? This is their football operations building. That's cool. And that's the kind of stuff you want a recruit to see when they come in. See the, the sweets, and the club and suite in the pictures? That's really cool. Nice truck. They got good tennis facilities. I almost wish they wouldn't have put them that close to the football stadium because that could have been used for, like, parking. They walk around here.
Easy in the There's the logo again. I'm not sure what this is. If I had to guess, it's probably like usually like the athletic department. You know, like the athletic director and all the people that work for him kind of thing. Oh, cross country, track and field. Okay, that's cool. You have other offices. That makes sense because the track is over there. <laughs> Charles Wiley Athletic Center. Okay. So this is probably where like their athletic offices are and stuff. Of course, more pictures of Terry Bradshaw. So this must be like their, uh... what am I thinking of? I might just went blank. Hall of Heroes kind of thing. Oh, Moses Malone. I mean, I'm, I mean, Carl Malone. Huh, cool. Oh, what's this? Uh, 2001. Okay. That's cool. All right. I'm just going to go around. You know, we have to show the non club and sweet side. You know, I realize that it may not look as good as. You know. It, it is what it is, you know? Oh, they got some sweets up there, too. That's cool. There's the video board. I don't want to zoom in because I don't want to... Ours. Wait a minute. Oh, this is the club and sweet side. That's the club. That wasn't that bad over there. For the non club, for the non club and sweet side, that when I first walked up on it, it looked decent. Of course, those banners really helped. So this is okay. So this is the club and sweet side. Okay, that's weird. That must be their basketball arena. That looks cool. You know, simple, basic, prominent logo. That's good. I see concessions. That's good. I'm going to sneak in here. We got Johnny's. See, the underneath looks really good. Got plenty of concessions. Eat here, uh, ATM even. This is the entrance to people going upstairs to the club and suites. Another one as well. I like the fact that this area is covered. So, like, if it's raining out or something. I have to go back the way I came. First aid, that's always important. Let's see. Nachos, popcorn, hot dogs, soda, that's always really good. I mean, decent facilities. I mean, Ooh, they even have a grill. Bet you they bet you they grill stuff like hot dogs and hamburgers on that thing. I'm hungry just thinking about it. Have to admit, I, I saw 
there was one place, it was BYU, they had um, fired fire, uh, you know, and those fire stoves that are like incredibly hot. They had uh, pizzas and they stuck them in for like two minutes and pulled them out and it was done. I mean, it was probably longer than that, but I want to get a, a better picture of the outside of this because I think this looks pretty good. Let me get back over here. So, I mean, I like the brick, I like the glass. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, this is a good looking stadium. I wish they would just do this on the other side. Yeah, but uh, it is what it is. Here, let me turn this off for a second. Some dude was in his car and I guess he was here to pick up his girlfriend. He was like counting, like trying to get her to come fast to the car faster. It's like, I wanted to yell at him and go, oh, you really want to be single. <laughs> you don't treat your girlfriend like that. That's just stupid. Carl Malone, yeah. So, the Thomas Assembly area, that's a, that's a good looking, kind of reminds me of the old basketball arena at Texas. They used to call it the, the drum. So, I like this. This is cool. Got a whole, got tent set up. It's like you got all this stuff for freaking tailgating already set up. That is so cool. Average. Got the camera facing away from. I can't point the camera in to, to show you the, the club seats in that other end zone just because I don't want... Look at all this parking. I don't want them to think I'm trying to record practice. I'm not. I'm here for the stadium. Look at this. we got tons of parking. What's this? We got a bunch of statues here. It's the Sarah and Al Williams Champions Plaza. How do I record this and I'm not thinking? Oh. Just kind of do like this. Okay, obviously Terry Bradshaw. And Fred Dean. Oh, I remember him. And Lily Roof. Okay. Oh, okay. This is cool. 1972 Bulldog National Champs. They beat Tennessee Tech. I'm looking at all, all those schools. I'm thinking they, they were either, they're probably one double A. Texas. Yeah, Texas Arlington, yeah. Arkansas State. Hey, I just did just did their stadium the yesterday. Okay. 
This is cool. I love how that, that 72, 73, 74. That's not that long ago. I was born in 73 for crying out loud. Teresa Weatherspoon. Yeah, okay. So, of course, the big man, the mailman, Carl Malone. That's cool. Of course, you want to have a statue and a rim. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, Carl Malone was one of my favorite basketball players. I love him and Stockton, how they ran that pick and roll. I mean, they ran that thing to perfection. <sighs> I forgot to get that one. Oh, I'll go to that one. Oh, Kim Oki. I forgot that she played here. Obviously, I, I know her more as a coach than I do as a player. But uh, my uh, fiance is a real big Kim Mulkey fan. Unfortunately, there was a falling out between her and Baylor, and now she's down at LSU, so that sucks. But it is what it is. Okay, so, so this is the non... Okay, this is the non-club and sweet side, but it looks so good with these banners. You know, they were able to do a lot just with, a, you know, adding some color. And I, I do think they would be good if they had more club seats. Of course, they put some on that one end zone. And because they're practicing right now, I can't show that to you out of respect for uh, their team and their coaching staff. I'm not going to, even though the gate's wide open, I'm not going to go in there and, and film while they're practicing. You know, that's just, that's a no-no. You wouldn't do that. All right. What a great stadium. All right. So let's put a bow on this sucker and call it good. All right. It's been a long day. My drive from Memphis to M Monroe, Louisiana was not fun, but from Monroe to here was great. I-20, um, thankfully Grambling's not that far away from here. I will see what I can get tonight. If the if it doesn't look like a, if it doesn't look like a good shot, then I'm not gonna do the Grambling video tonight. I'll do it in the morning. Um, Besides, I really want to watch the Dallas-San Francisco game. So, but by the time you see this posted, it'll be later in the week. So, anyway, if you are new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Um, please be gentle in the comments. Um, the main thing about smaller schools is that, do they have good concessions? These guys definitely do. Do they have lots of parking? They do. And... Um, I love that little uh, kind of com small community there where it's already pre-set up for people to tailgate. So that was super cool. Um, and seating. They got some chair backs. I'll probably say this about a lot of stadiums. I think they need more. And probably some club seats up here. Um, Oklahoma State learned right away when they remodeled boom picking stadium that they make more money with club and seat club and suite tickets than they do with the entire inner bowl so but i i would say if as a minimum if you wanted to improve this stadium i think they need some more chair backs but other than that it looks great so and does it meet the needs of the fans yes it does is is this lsu no it's not it's a smaller school and that's okay we need to show some love for the smaller schools. So thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody that watches. Uh, you made this channel grow, and I couldn't have done it without you. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for watching. I know this is bulldog country, but I bleed orange. So I always end my videos by saying, go Pokes. Bye.